Hey guys and welcome to Order Scale. So there is a new sheriff in town called Mr. Large, and this is the LLM that is getting all the hype right now. And if you go to my favorite perplexity, you can see that there is now GPT-4 Turbo, Cloud 2.1 and Mistral Large, the latest model by Mistral. And I thought it would be a good idea to test this Mistral thingy against uh, GPT-4 Turbo and Cloud. And the way it's gonna pan out is as follows. We'll first try my famous sequence prompts on all of these LLMs. And then we'll create an SEO article like we did a couple of videos before. But we will know the workout, the SEO score, readability level. We will see if uh, Perplexity paired with this new LLM does internal and external links. And we'll measure a detection with originality 2.0, not 3.0. And I think that's going to be a fair comparison. So let's first grab the sequence prompt. We'll start with GPT-4 Turbo. For those of you unaware, this is kind of a trick to create 2000 plus articles in one click. Basically, you are asking Perplexity, in this instance, uh, to come up with 10 popular questions and then write one article per question. And when combined, this is actually one huge article. So the topic here is alternative outcomes of major events. As you can see, GPU-4 has uh, drafted 10 topics. And now it's going to write a 500-word article for each of the articles. And once again, when combined, this is effectively a large outline. When combined, you get a full-on article. As you can see, GPT-4 has finished with the first article, so you can just go next. Step 3. So I won't be formatting this, and you should, but uh, the sequence prompt created a 3500-word output with GPT-4 Turbo. Now let's try the same with Claude. Okay, so this is very weird. Um, Clock got cut off, and this is once again uh, proving the fact that uh, when in perplexity, Clock doesn't have that big of a context window. So let's see how many words we got. We got 1700 words, which is nothing. Finally, Mistro. So, so far, Mistro is the only one that actually writes everything in one click. So it went from step one to step two to step three. And this is how it is supposed to happen. You have a workaround in GPT-4 and Claude but just by saying next. But Mistro, I don't think that's going to be a very long output, but it's doing everything in sequence. And it's uh, pretty fast. Faster than Claude and faster than GPT-4 Turbo. So it's already moved to step five without me doing anything extra, like reprompting. So Mistro is the only one who broke it, uh, this prompt down in two steps. While with GPT-4 Turbo and Claude, I had to stop and start after each and every step. Again, this uh, has to be formatted, obviously, but I'm just curious what the ballpark of the word count is. Oh, 3700 words, 3749. So uh, in my book, this is actually a clear winner. And uh, Claude gets last place. And Claude, again, Claude is notorious for following instructions. So this is the only thing I don't like about Claude. Doesn't uh, work with complex prompts. Okay, so now uh, let's head back to our article and Neural Writer. So the more I'm doing this workflow, this is probably the, th the third time I'm recording this. I mean, I'm recording a video about this. The workflow gets better and better and better. So before I started, I had two major problems. So the first one, uh, when I generate an outline, and let's do that. So outline, generate outline. I'll be using GPT-4, medium. So the major problem was that it had uh, H2s and H3s, and when pasted back into perplexity, perplexity would treat everything as H2s, and that wasn't uh, right. And the other problem was overstuffing and overusing the keywords. And uh, I think it's the same subscriber who uh, got me two, both tips. So tip number one, would be once you generate your outline, you go to three dots on the right hand side, you go, you get to export copy and raw HTML. And this is our template prompt. So the outline goes here. And now for the NLP keywords, since we already have some keywords in the outline, what we can do is to go to all terms not used, then I'll copy extend it like so. And then not used, I'll copy basic. Only two terms. This way it minimizes the overlap to the max. So we are not repeating the keywords from the outline. There is very little cannibalization. So this goes here. And we have our links.txt file ready. 
which is basically my sitemap with URLs. So this is the prompt we're going to be using. And let's uh, clear everything. So we start from scratch. The default score is 21. This is because the title and meta are pre-populated. Go to model change GPT-4 Turbo. And another tip that I shared last time, if you switch this to Pro, you will force perplexity to fetch uh, factual data. So we'll do that. And sometimes you are able to specify the search intent. So what is the main focus? AI detection. This is the main focus of the main search intent. And as per usual, all of my videos are referenced. Oh, okay. So we got a no for uh, as far as 2000 word article. Okay, let's try 1500 words. Uh, I forgot to attach the links. <laughs> These are the links. Let's try again and let's correct this to 1500 words. And this is the prompt we're going to be using for other LLMs. Yeah, detection, third time's a charm. Okay, so here we got a video from one of my YouTuber colleagues. So shout out to Avi from Digital Avi. Great channel, by the way. So no links so far, unfortunately. And maybe I could... Uh, could have prompted this better, but sometimes what AI likes to do is to include all the links at the end of the article. But at least it's referenced in the outside sources. These are the links to Agility Writer itself, to Originality. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, there, is, there are no internal links. And so when this happens, I usually try once again, and the formatting is all messed up, which I don't like. So we didn't get any links at all. This is unfortunate. So we got citations, which which doesn't count towards the links. Okay, I won't be rewriting this. I'm only doing one run per model. Let's check uh, the SEO score. So the SEO score is a very high 77. We got 827 words. Fortunately, no to internal links, no to external links. Grade 12, so pretty high readability. As far as AI detection goes, I don't think that's going to pass, but still, 0%. And oh, this is uh, version 2.0, so the previous version. Okay, so let's switch gears, so to speak, and let's choose Claude. Claude usually delivers longer output into when it comes to articles. Don't forget to attach the links. This is a prompt, and we'll change it to 1500 words again. And what's main angle? What's the main angle? AI detection. And it shows me that the file is being used as a source. But once again, we didn't get any links with the GPT-4 Turbo. I'm already seeing some links here. This is a link to Perplexity itself, which is kind of weird. The external link. It's giving us a nice table. No internal links so far, so this is the biggest surprise, because it worked beautifully last time. Some external links here. But none of the internal links. So that might be just the time of the day. Sometimes this happens with all the tools. And so if I w were to publish this, I would do the links with LinkBoss or manually, or I would just rerun the whole thingy, because it does make sense why something that worked a few days ago doesn't right now, but okay. So the previous best was 77 by GPT-4. And yeah, we can see the external links, but not the internal ones. Weird. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is the highest that I've seen, actually. 84 SEO score. 84. 1,200 words. What about readability? Readability is grade 11, so slightly better than GPT-4. And I have not prompted for better readability, even though I could have. No for external links. Yes to internal links. And I'm... Pretty certain that we'll get a zero as far as AI detection. Oh, we actually got a 60. Nice. And of course, I'm excited for Mistral. So let's just clean everything up. Let's uh, not forget the links.txt. Okay. So once again, the search intent is that of a AI detection and whether agility writer passes it. And Mistro is the fastest out of the three. No links so far. I don't know why, but it seems that there are more sources that it was able to use. So this is a video from another fellow YouTuber. Okay, we got one external link, two external links. Okay, no internal links. Weird. This is just mad. Okay, let's get rid of the citations while we can. Lots of citations. I don't know why, but it seems like it used a lot more citations. So let's look at the internal links. To, at the links, I think I saw a couple. 
those links so no oh, just the one okay one external link so let's see now the score to beat is 84 and this one is 75 and 1200 words as well 75 and 1275 75 1275 curious to know what the readability is going to be 12 and a detection zero i was actually kind of secretly hoping it would get a high score so 12 no to external links no to internal links okay so this was kind of a weird experiment i think that perplexity had a bad day today but to sum up the sequence prompt was by far the best used by mr large it's uh, did everything in one click or close to it, 3700 words. As far as the article goes, uh, it's on par with the GPT-4 Turbo as far as SEO. Same readability, the longest output comparable to that of Claude. No internal links, no external links, uh, 0A detection. And it's much faster, so I'm not sure if you value that, uh, but it is faster, noticeably faster than both uh, GPT-4 and Perplexity. And also, every successful blog starts with a niche, and I invite you to check my Niche Hunter course, which has 13 unique ways of finding profitable niches as well as access to a brand new niche scoring tool. That's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.